हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डील विथ लॉ ऑफ साइज रिडक्शन एंड इन लेक्चर 1.2 पॉइंट टू आई विल डील विथ बॉल मिल एंड स्पेरिसिटी दिस थ्री आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू फूड इंजीनियरिंग बिकॉज ईयर बाय ईयर क्वेश्चन कम फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक सो प्लीज पे अटेंशन दिस इज अबाउट मी गॉट ए आई आर वन इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन एंड कम्पलीटेड माई एम टेक फ्रॉम आई टी खड़क सो हाउ यू कैन achieve size reduction there are various methods such as crushing tearing impact and cutting this cutting is the most simple form what we do all we do at our home like cutting of vegetables and crushing and tearing this happens in the in case of sugar cane so sugar cane is crushed under the under two rollers as well as tearing also happens one term here it is here it is important that is ground material what is ground material it is nothing but like in hindi you will say pisa hua means if wheat has been converted into aata then that aata is known as ground material okay i hope you got the what is ground material that is nothing but pisa hua form of material so see this is the three most important principle which are applied in case of size reduction you remember this name as krb where k is kick retinger and bond because sometimes they ask which of the following law is related to size reduction so they are nothing but kick retinger and bond in the upcoming slides i will show you what is the formula related to this and where you need to apply this so all these three law what they tell us about they tell us about the principle of size reduction so these are nothing but the in this formula you will get what is the amount of energy required as your feed rate increases or decreases to achieve a particular size of particle we will see that formula in the upcoming slide i hope you are clear till now so see this question which one of the following is related with principle of size reduction so option a where jensen jensen is related to storage in deep bin iris is related to storage in shallow bin renold number this is we have heard this in fluid engineering so this is also not related so your answer will be retinger uh, and what are the two other law that is kick and bond so you remember such type of question appears in exam so now we will see the what is the formula for each and every law before going to that uh, i will share you some theoretical aspects you will say sir why you are giving this theoretical thing i will say that this is required in order to understand the numerical part of it and also in some examination like jrf and all they ask this theoretical concept as well so in kick law kick law is available in case of force grinding force grinding means you are feed is not going to convert very fine i mean suppose your feed size is 2 mm then your product size will be around 1 mm or 0.5 mm so that that refers to coarse grinding and where retinger law is used for fine grinding means your 2 mm feed size will go into the micrometer size of micrometer size of product so when nothing has been given in question and uh, you need to think which formula you need to apply then you have to recall that if it is coarse grinding then you apply kick formula if it is fine grinding then you apply retinger formula see this two point is important because these are all directly related with the formula used for this in the kick law energy required is directly proportion to the size related what this what does this mean mean if you are reducing suppose size from 50 mm to 25 mm then what is your ratio ratio is 2 then kick's law says that same amount of energy will be required to reduce that a particle size of 25 mm to 12.5 mm because here ratio is also 2 so this is the basic principle behind the kick's law while retinger law says that energy required is 
proportional to the area of new surface created c more the size more the fine particle size of product more will be the surface area created so so you can directly think like this if you want to bring your feed into more finer particle then obviously you require more energy and that's what the retinger law says there is one other law that is bond's law what is that bond's law is used in intermediate whether your uh, product is neither too fine nor too coarse in that condition you will use bond formula and here energy required is proportional to square root of particle size so you remember this three condition i hope i explained this uh, what is this reduction ratio and what is new surface created so let's see the formula for all this thing see this is the general formula and for each law this value of n will be changing this n will change from 1 to 3 what the six law says the reduction ratio is proportional to the size of particle okay So now see this equation for six law. For six, this will become one. For the retinger, this will become two. For the bond, this will become three. So now you put the value of this one, two, three, and integrate it three. Size of field, size of product, lesser to higher. Why? Because the product will be finer. So size of product is size of field. and when you will integrate this you will get this formula so see you do not need to remember this xf by xp or xd by xf you can simply think this energy required cannot be negative even if you are interchanging this two uh, you are you are using xp uh, in in place of xp if you are using xf and xf in you are using xp then this whole value will come in negative and automatically you can know the value of e cannot be negative so that you will take positive value also so even if in exam you get confused whether it was x p or x s then don't get panic the answer will the numerical part of answer will remain same so i would say please remember all these three formulas okay there is nothing much about this this value of n changes and also remember what is the value of n for each formula Okay, so here one question is there. You can see what is the value of n for six formula. Are you able to recall this? What is the six formula value? It is one. What is for retainer? Two. Two. And what is for bond? It is three. So let's move. As I showed you in formula, it is E equal to C. That energy can be converted into E by F. Where C is power required in kilowatt and heat rate is ton per hour. Please remember this unit. In that formula, whatever I showed you, you have to keep the heat rate in ton per hour and the particle size in mm only. Don't use any other value. In case of Bond's law, the value of C that is constant is somewhat different. Here that is 0.362 into work index. in the numerical question when you are you get this term one in the work index then automatically you will come to know that this question is talking about bond's law not any other law okay so let's see one question of 2017 i will say uh, i will say you to stop the video and read the question first so this is talking about the ratio of retinger to fixed constant means value of c for retinger divided by value of c for fixed so how we can proceed for this question from c from this from here we be saying that 2 mm so what will be the two that will be the size of feed because feed will be always of higher size and the product will be always of lesser size and this 100 micron is value of product So you got the value of x p and x f. So you, when you will divide these two from portion itself, you can see from unit. When you will divide these two terms 
from E to E will cancel. This will become C R constant for Rettinger. This will become C K constant for K. Now the value, the unit for this will remain mm or micrometer, and unit for this will become nothing because x f by x t from both side mm or micrometer will cancel out. So from this you will know that your answer will be in mm or micrometer. So automatically your two options gone. Now here from option you can see if you will convert this into micrometer that will become three one five zero. So you just put the value of this two, which is given in question, and then solve this. So you will get the value three point one five mm. Okay. Simple two values are given. You need to put, and this E will cancel out from this side. This is the question of day two thousand twelve. They have directly asked the bond energy constant. That is the C equal to point zero three one into work index. So they are asking what you need to multiply. That is this value, and this is more or less equal to under root ten. So here I would like to show you what different type of question they will ask in this formula. We will see. Sometimes they will give give you the three side and product side from one side to other. Suppose they will give two mm to one mm energy required is this much. So from that given data, you can calculate value of C. Now they will ask, what will be the value required to reduce from 5 mm to 4 mm? So you put value of C calculated from first equation into here, value of C, value of product, and from there you calculate energy required. Similarly, same type of question can be framed for Rettinger and the bond as well. In this lecture, in this three formula, you don't need to delve too much into that detail. You just remember these two formula: solve two or three numerical problem based on that. I explained you two numerical problems of past year. In the million chapter of Singh and Sahay, you will get two good problems. What are the type of question asked? I said you. You solve those two questions. If you are able to solve them, those two type of question. Then don't worry from uh, this three type of equation. The rest other will follow. So if you like the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video.